and the brothers of Omega Sci-Fi, the fatherhood in heaven. Gentlemen, so good to have you back. So good to have you back, brother Donald Williams. Tell us what you got. See, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much. Uh, we want you to know that this experience for mm -hmm. our fraternity and for myself personally has been outstanding, this podcast experience. Yeah. So we thank you for that. Oh, it's um, an absolute pleasure. I got to let you guys know, it is an honor to have you because of the work that you're doing. So I really applaud you for that. I wish I wish we had our studio audience in here so we could clap you guys <laughs> up. But I got to give it to you. I'm going to give you the applause. Because you guys are really doing good work in the community. But tell tell us, tell our audience about some of the work that you're doing. Well, we are excited to uh, come back and talk to the radio family about our fathers. Our mission, uh, Mega Sci-Fi, is focused on helping dads be great fathers. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, we want to raise the awareness mm. and uh, celebrate our fathers who are, are helping their student there's child grow and develop into healthy young adults oh absolutely and so today we got here a uh, new chapter located in montgomery county uh the chairman of the fatherhood and mentoring uh sean uh, radcliffe and he's going to introduce himself and, and and some guests that focuses on our experience working with our dads absolutely let's hear it guys excellent excellent well first let me also echo uh thanks for actually having us back here i know last absolutely. time we got a chance to uh, get into a little bit of our fatherhood initiative that that we have going on. So uh, bottom line is uh, when uh, President Barack Obama, uh, when he was in office, he basically established a initiative to really have Omega Sci-Fi mm -hmm. really get into more of a fatherhood initiative. So we kind of took that ball, rolled with it, uh, really start to try to incorporate it in our chapter in, in Montgomery County. So what we decided to do is really partner with the HOC uh, and really just kind of talk about how can we get involved with children and fathers and, and kick off that a particular initiative. And so we partnered with uh, Ed Powell from HOC, and uh, I'll let Ed introduce himself. And it's really been a great partnership kind of going on to really just talk about the things that we have going on in our community and how we can actually help our fathers out. Yeah, tell us and explain what the HOC, what, what exactly that is. Okay, well, HOC is the, is the Housing Commission of Montgomery County. Okay, okay, great. Um, and partly I work for Montgomery County, Montgomery County Government Child Welfare Services, but I also work with, uh, like uh, Sean was saying, the HOC program has a fatherhood program mm. that the Omega Men have partnered with what we call the 24-7 dad. Okay. And basically what that means, it's self-explanatory, that you're never off from from being a dad. It's, it's, 20, it's, 20, <laughs> it's 24 7. That's right. <laughs> and, so, and so we take, we, we have a, um, uh, a class. I mean, it's a week long class for two and a half, three hours that we focus on several different topics to really kind of get a father's a better understanding or sometimes to clear their understanding up of their father's role and their importance in the children's of the children's lives. Yeah, absolutely. And, and having worked in some of those programs and see seeing the impact that these kinds of programs have on the men as they come in there and they go through the program and then come out and they actually start to uh, interact and build with their children. It's an amazing thing. And again, I applaud you for that. But you guys are equal opportunity. You're just you're not just about the men. You're also about the women. Uh, you said that you have a sweetheart brunch that you have coming up. Tell us about that. Absolutely. That's right. I'm Kyrie Early. I'm the chairman of the um, Fraternal Relations Committee for the Mew New Chapter in Montgomery County, Maryland. And uh, yeah, we have something directly for the ladies. You know, Valentine's Day, there's always going to be love in the air that weekend. Mm. So we have a sweetheart brunch going on on the 17th of February at the New Cambria Hotel in Rockville. Okay. So yeah, we're really excited about that, and we are featuring actually a mimosa bar, bottomless mimosa bar. Wow! Where we mix oh, you gonna up, get the ladies out? We're gonna mix <laughs> up different juices for you for yeah, the ladies. Yeah, yeah. So we also bring in a uh, two-piece jazz band, oh, and wow. we're gonna and I'm be DJing it. So, oh uh, wow! Yeah, Wait, you're, a, you're buffet. a DJ? Absolutely. Oh, I like that. So yes. Wait, can I come? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> so let me give you the details. Yeah, the please who, do. The who is everybody? You, your mom, and your sister. Anybody's invited. We have limited amount of seats though, so you got to get your tickets early. Okay. dot That's okay, how you do that. Is. Okay. And then uh, who? And then that's the the who. The where is one Helen Hennigan Way in Rockville, Maryland. It's right in uh, down 
Rockville Town, right in the uh, Rockville Town Center. Oh, great. Right by the movie theaters, walking distance. Oh, great. So that's the what. And then the where the when is uh, the 17th of February at uh, 12 to 3 p.m. So it's right there at the hotel. They'll guide you in. There's free parking. Uh, there's really nothing to stop you. And the why, hey, love is in the air. Absolutely. So, ladies, <laughs> Absolutely. get your man, drag him out the house. That Saturday after Valentine's Day, show up. And, uh, yeah, it's $50 to get in. Okay. And that's per person. So you will have a great time. I guarantee it. There's no other events like this in the entire area. Wow. So don't miss it. And uh, if you do, you're going to end up hearing all about it and yeah, then wanting yeah. to come next year. <laughs> <laughs> now, now uh, you said mewnewqs.org. Yep. And is that how yep. we can find out about your uh, getting in contact with you? Because I'm sure there's some people who are listening to this who want to find out how to get in contact yep. with your program for the fathers. Is it the same thing? Mewnewqs.org to find out about uh, what you guys are doing on both sides? Yes. Okay. So you can go right on there. That's going to give you all the information, first of all, about our Sweetheart Brunch. Then we got our Mardi Gras party that's going on, which is our main fundraiser that helps fund all the different things that we do in the community. Oh, excellent. So, yes, we're going to have all that information right there and as well as a fatherhood initiative. And you will be able to click on whatever interests you. And then from there, we will always take all your suggestions and all the information. Mm. Please keep in touch with us and um, leave us some information and then we'll get in contact with you. But in terms of the actual event, go on there, register, and get your tickets early because this will sell out. Mm, get your tickets early. You heard it here. Go to Mew New Cues. You, you can't forget that, right? It all <laughs> right. I, I feel like a Dot rapper org. now. MewNewQs.org. Check right. them out. I want to thank Brother Donald Williams and the brothers of the Omega Psi Fraternity fatherhood initiative you guys again you're doing excellent work in the community i applaud you and you know this platform is open to you thank you sirs for for giving us your time we really appreciate it thank you all yeah, right excellent. absolutely thank you all right Stacey. so you guys stay tuned we got the real husbands of largo live coming up next we're gonna have a lot of fun so you make sure you tune in excellent job that was excellent that was right. you can you 